This video is sponsored by G2A.com where you can get great gains at a cheap price. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas! Yup folks, it's that time of the year once again. Christmas time. Aw oh, man, I love Christmas time. Getting together with your family, all the gifts you get, and of course, we cannot forget the awesome fan games that people make. That's right folks, today we're going to be looking at some really awesome Christmas themed fan games. They can be from Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, all of them. We're going to check out some really awesome fan-made games that feature Christmas, a Christmas theme. And I gotta say, these games are a lot of fun. So in honor of the holidays, I'd say, why don't we go ahead and check out some of my favorites right here, right now. Let's roll! How about we start off this list with a bang? Here we have Pokemon Christmas version. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pokemon Christmas version is a ROM hack of Pokemon Gold. But, things have definitely been changed around here. I mean, for starters, the whole map is covered head to toe in snow. Whoa, that's so beautiful! The intro starts off somewhat similar to the original Pokemon Gold, but there are a few minor changes. Hello, I'm ROM Hacker Mateo. Oh, well, that's new. Let me present Pokemon Christmas. Don't be fooled, this isn't just a holiday gimmick. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Whoa, who knew? As you can see, I've added some new ones to the hack. Some are from the third generation, others are newer. This game is a sequel to Pokemon Gold. It's part of what I'm calling the Johto Legacy. But enough talk, let's get started. Alright, that sounds awesome, Professor. Then like any other normal Pokemon game, we get to choose our name. Hyro? I think that's how it's pronounced. Nah. Ethan? Nah. Rhett? Uh, uh. Gold? Oh, come on! Forget it, we'll make our own. Okay, J A R R R R. There we go, Jar. Good enough. While well, most of the game is very similar to Pokemon Gold, there are some cool new things, such as new dialogue, updated environments, and so many new Pokemon, not even from this generation! The game itself is a lot of fun, and I definitely recommend it to any Pokemon fans out there. Or how about this game called Yuletide Bros, which is basically just the original Mario Bros, but it's themed around Christmas. Mario and Luigi are Christmas elves, the Koopas have Santa hats, and you collect presents instead of coins. That's pretty much all I have to say. It's just Mario Bros, but Christmas themed. Speaking of Mario Bros, Here's a game called Super Mario Xmas, which, as you probably all can tell, is a hack of Super Mario Bros. But once again, it's a Christmas themed game. There's snow everywhere, Mario's dressed as Santa, the Goombas are... Christmas hats, I think? Oh, and the whole game plays with ice physics, meaning get ready for a lot of slipping and sliding. Also, for some strange reason, Tetris music is playing in the background. Why? I have no idea. This game itself was never really finished, but it's kind of fun, I guess? Okay, let's step away from Mario for a second and check out a Sonic game instead. It's simply titled, How the Eggman Stole Christmas. The concept of this game is really simple. Dr. Eggman wants to ruin Christmas for everyone. What a jerk! So it's up to our favorite Blue Hedgehog to put a stop to all of his evil deeds. The game itself plays the exact same way as the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Like all the other games on this list, there's snow in the stages as well. There's honestly not that much to this game. It's just a short three-act game where Green Hill Zone is covered in snow and Sonic must stop Eggman from ruining Christmas. The game may not seem that great, but I actually like it a lot. I don't know, maybe it's just the environment and music that made me like this game so much, but I gotta say, this game was a lot of fun to play. 
Now, we all like Metroid, right? That's a fact and not an opinion at all. So here's an actual Metroid ROM hack slash short fan game called Super Metroid Snow Globe. Oh yeah, gotta love those sick beats, am I right? Wait, what? It's playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Uh, okay? We start off the game by receiving a message from Santa himself. Please help me find my eight lost hats. I'll give you a reward if you can return them all, Santa. Whoa, Santa needs my help? Well, don't you worry, you big fat jolly man. I'll save the day. The game only has one area, and basically your mission is to collect all the hats in order to beat the game. The map itself, in my opinion, looks beautiful. Finding the hats isn't too difficult, but once you get all of them, it's not over yet, folks. Stop right there! You think I will let you ruin all my plans and allow you to simply leave? I think not! Oh man, looks like we're about to take on the final boss. He must be the most powerful creature on Earth! Well, I've been wrong before. What you're supposed to do here is find a way across him without touching him at all. The bad thing is, it's really hard to actually get past him. He does come closer to you over time, but it literally takes forever for him to move. After a really long time, I did finally manage to get over him, and I jumped to my ship and left the planet. And that's when the game ends, so... Hooray! I did it! I think... Here we have Toad's Christmas Adventure. In this game, Santa's evil brother, that I never even knew he had, has stolen Toad, and it's up to Toad to save her, with the power of... Snowballs? Uh, okay? There's also a Toadette's Christmas Adventure, but it's pretty much the exact same game, but with different sprites, and you fight... this thing at the end. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Here's another really short hack called Rockman 2. It's a short ROM hack based on Mega Man 2, and it's actually pretty good. Short? Yes. But beautiful and fun? Oh yeah, it really is a lot of fun. There's not much to this game, it's just like Mega Man 2, but with snow and a Christmas hat and everything, but like I gotta say, it's still a lot of fun to play. Now, one of my personal favorites on this list is called Mario's Christmas Quest. Twas the night before Christmas and trouble was afoot. Santa Claus had vanished, and so Mario was sent to the North Pole to investigate. Oh no, don't worry Santa, I'll save you! Now, what I really like about this hack is that it's more creative than just putting snow everywhere. The levels are more fun, the overall looks really nice, and the music isn't half bad either. However, once you reach level 3, the game's difficulty skyrockets up, and it doesn't look very Christmassy at all at that point. Let's move on, shall we? Here we have Scrooge 64 and... Oh wait! I already talked about this game. Remember? It was in my Mario bootleg slash ROM hacks video. Go check that out, please. Well, we have looked at some pretty cool games so far, but it's time to start wrapping things up. No pun intended. With one last game called Peach's Christmas Invitation which is a fan game slash hack of Mario 64. And I gotta say, that this one is really good. The game starts off with Mario getting a message from Toad, who apparently can fly now. Welcome to the castle, Mario. I'm happy that you'll follow Peach's invitation. She's waiting inside the castle. By the way, I'm Professor E. Gaz, the newest invention, a hologram. Oh, well, uh, that's nice, I guess. Congrats, Toad. 
The game itself is extremely beautiful in so many ways. I mean, just look up and you'll see the beautiful snow and even the stars falling from the sky. The first level in the game has you kill 15 enemies within a time limit. And, although levels in this game can be kinda hard, there's still a lot of fun to play. However, the further you get into the game, the more familiar it starts to look. For instance, the second level in the game is actually Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, well, that's interesting. So as it turns out, about 90% of the levels in this game are ripped straight out of Banjo-Kazooie. But even though, they're still a lot of fun to play. Heck, unlike Mario 64, you can actually ride Yoshi, which makes this game even better. And, well, that's pretty much all I have to say about these games. While most of them might have been just the same game, but with Snell, I honestly love playing through these games. Probably because of the nostalgia of playing through several of your childhood games, but being themed around Christmas. Christmas truly is a magical time of the year. So, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Merry Christmas everyone. Well guys, that's going to wrap the video up right here. So, thank you all for watching. Like the video, hit the like button and comment, subscribe to my channel. You know, playing these games has just been a fun time, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Merry Christmas to all, and to all good night. Until next time, bye guys.